Hello oh, and welcome back to the up here Classic Relog and we can actually take two because the first one well turned while I completed it. There was a lot of people talking all over the place, so I kinda of scrapped it because, you know you know, because they got done talking at the end of it. I figured, okay, I'll redo it. So we go, we're in doors again because the reason I had to do it through talking come was gone. Um go. Okay, let's do it again. The King, If the Shoe Fit, written by Corey Powell. The, the talking, why the original version of this was 14 minutes long, even though I didn't have a ton to carry it with. Go, let go a little more quickly than usual, but try to cover all the pain ground. Anyway, go in the episode. Blythe and her friends were invited to the King's birthday party, and while they don't really understand why that is, they can kind of go anyway, because a boy band that they like is performing there. They are called the Full Pageant, which would be the greatest name for a boy band ever. I'm just kidding, that is the perfect boy band name. Oh. And I do like how I'm going, like, yeah, it'd be better if I had tails. I'm like, furry. <laughs> Fully, no, I think good Toby, I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, furry. Yeah. Well, no furry man in it, but you know what I mean. No, um, but, but in, anyway. And the pets would like to go to the party, but as the event could work and batter, Blythe did not want them to go, but they find a loophole and kind of sneak in via a trench coat. Go. I could probably talk about all the bad things within the episode first, but without going, you will get a count on big guys. But, um, you know. But, like, fuck, I'm going to let you out here. Uh, I can't wait to get live and that should be a fun time if I get to it. Oh, I did pick out the previous one. Well, oh, no, no. Get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so the thing about the gun is that, technically speaking, it doesn't have a bunch of people points to it. I mean, it seems like it might have one. There's a few hints, I think, like the Bicket and their whole deal with the best bet team. You know? But, like, in the end, one of the things the Pecan caught by anyone but Blythe. So, they never really, you know, that's never really a mistake. And in the end, you know, we can't go the stuff with the kick like giving the pregnant, but the actual part of the end of everyone's sort of leaving and the only thing being accomplished is that the full patch of like Yummy Kong, which, which they don't like their singing and the paper lane plane of it. I mean, for, First dad, from her way. I say it's very early, but Cruz is leading in Maine in too. The, okay, in me. Sorry, TJ. Go away. Okay. And they open it and keep on. They kind of perform it out of the blue. Like I don't think they talk to me at all or anything like that. But yeah, you know, don't pay the way for what happens with the finale. Go like a poke back. Okay. Um, that is kind of the main point. Like when I had that, that one well point. Like, even that becomes about purely comedic, or even our director, you know, they tend to reach a takeaway of some kind. They're kind of going to have that. And, and the way the ending is sort of written might be a problem, because things sort of, like, the mechanism is primarily done well, but near the end, some of the things converge, only to the precipitate. Like, some of the things they're building up are just like, aka, blah, 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 and it's in the end, it's like, okay. You know? But, uh, yeah, that kind of popular I have. Again, not my original point. Again, it's a gigantic issue, but in this show, it kind of can be. You know, I mean, at least one picky point I remember my point about my moral, but that one kind of does mean. But that one does have a point in the character line, but this one needs to be next to that. But, you know, I do think that as a story, it's not what worked. I mean, it's still. They don't have much of a trajectory, trajectory, how you can compose, but in the end, it's like, I don't know. I know one. That's where we back has only halted and a very common object to most of it. Except for one thing, and that would be Fisher. He's not good, he's not bad, in morality wise, but he's just weird. Like, pet have a trench coat thing, and they're walking, and then he sees them, and he's going amber to them, he thinks he's all professional and cool, and he's like, out of my head, he's by neck, like, pregnant or something. It's just, like, what? They don't really make any kind of client, just randomly stupid enough to keep this going on. And drink. Like, he is really wild. Most people go, that is a weird dude, but he keeps them 
I'm a good guy and cool broken and then they do a kind of well thing, which that's not a problem. The title has nothing to do with anything. It has to do with a minor part of the plot, which contributes to nothing. And it's resolved in a weird way because Goey starts singing in front of everyone and like a black crush, they call barking and he goes, Oh, you defeat you one copy I can sing, you got here, but he ditch from the end. Like that kid, because you can't sing. That makes no sense. And to go, you would not want to hear your thoughts on singing, let me tell you. <laughs> the, the first time it's kind of funny, but it's just so very strange. It's definitely adding to the episode. And again, why I could call that if it's the, the true thing is not connected to the plot at all. So it's kind of weird. And by the way, the Blake Crush thing is also an issue. Blake and Reash that one back when acknowledging it. But, well, of course, it's a great song. Story, Fisher, Blake Crush thing. But, um. You know, I'm only for Gift Code thing. I don't think I'm that mechanic. Because in the end, there's some entertainment value and some worth to be gained from it in the end. It's, like, it's not like at the end I feel like nothing happened. Like, at the end, I feel like I got some cake. I go with Phoenix. Well, some episodes will come show will be like. Well, I got nothing out of that. It's like, even that's like the rival one we get while we want rival one we would take the king out of point, but at the end of that one, I really felt like nothing was like, listen, trickle, just act like you were wrong, but you were got to have this one. That, I think the panel would do it, just both for the point. Um, but, um, but what makes me do enjoy it is, well, it, it can, it fixes a problem I have with what kind of matter, and the, from their implied, like, they show a flashback from it, and you probably reference that plan like would be a problem, but they do it in order to springboard into something where it fits the problem. Whereas with that episode, the excuse for giving survivor there is sort of like minicule, and yeah, I've been able to help life, but I don't know if I've communicated that much in there. You know, it just kind of happened. And they just sort of show up, sort of out blue, and then they start coming all with ruckus, which they can know come up as born, like, get all in there annoying. While here, they have more reason they want to go there because, you know, the understanding, whatever. Yeah. And they're just more comedy as I'm trying to get to that party, you know, and when they get there, they don't ruin anything, they just double around a bit. Make more sense. You know, it just seems like that part, they're written to be a lot more considerate, more entertaining, and, and the whole shit is better than that because it feels like a bunch of randomness and they get away with being big and annoying and food. But this one's not being annoying good enough to me come up and go, we're actually fine. So, that could be not necessarily a many problems, but yeah, it's probably a problem thinking about it with it. And I'll elaborate on that when I get to that one, if I do. So, yeah. That's why, that, I'll keep that, and again, one thing I'm gonna do, like, the point is that, it's got, yeah, I like the energy, it's got good comedy, good energy, from it, it kick a little dull near the end, where things are starting to have a point before they stop, but, you know, it's some pretty good, you know, design jokes, like, you know, yeah, uh, like, um, again, Roger got a few points, like, when he get into the full passing at the start, or Jack Burr, like, it you be kind of true to him, come tanking okay, come tanking a little, no, he don't bother me too much, and they got good actually pretty good, because he got some, you know, him being Crockett fan of, um, the band, is funny, you know, you know, good joke from that, you know, <laughs> you know, and, you know, me picking it in one week, you know, which kind of shown with, but it's very well, and funny, and, you, and again, Manimal, great, Arr! Um, I don't know if I'm joke, I forgot, but, um, they're going to I had a quarter kick again, because I had even more time to be separated from the episode. But, um, I do watch it before, I, like, right before I, before I, before I remember what happened. Um, but, um, I don't know how they got to fall under the Yeah, they have a few things that don't make a lot of sense, right, kind of a huge trajectory. But at the same time, it's still got me energy, got me fairly amusing moments. And, um, you know, well, picking a, a problem with an upgrade, I'm like, I feel like it can be fair, but then that comes in the air now. But, um, go, yeah, not again. 
get to tell good Viking what can bad or why I'm kind of defensive from this one. If that's if people hate anything, is that some people think it's kind of making me up? They get, nah, it's probably making me up, let's go. Like, like, something about it, it has a point, it's not much of a wrong, it's not like the actual kill, jugging a lot. What? How do you know this situation? Um. We might need more. We could probably use a little bit more, yeah. There's not too much talking in this one. But either way, that is a bit too bad. It's not yeah, one of the best that we go, but it's one of the weaker well, I mean, ones, cooking and free bombs. Four Sprite and free Coke. And yeah. anything else? I have Coke and Sprite. Yeah, I have Coke and Sprite. Yeah, you have Coke and Sprite. Yeah, I have Coke but you know, it's enjoyable because it's got the energy and it's totally like joke No. I'm not buying you a I'm saying I'll give you money. <laughs> I will pay for my own ticket, but you buy it. I mean, I'll buy it. I want you to give me your card. I'll buy it for you. But, um. But yeah, there you go. That's going to shoot big. Sure it's fun to let the code, even think I'm a whole lot point to it. And that's kind of how I feel. And yeah. to feel I'm going to become a big code, I'm going to have a rap back to it. I'm going to analyze it. But more people will just kind of. No, because he went cool. super early. Go, very go. Now, I did. Oh, <laughs> wait, I gotta come to the cover first. Yeah, both Milo Pony and the Pet Shop returned March 20th. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. catch up, not too much more crying, you know. Thank good time to turn the pony, Dookie, and King Kick begins that day. I'm not sure why that is, because it's like, it got the end of the month, beginning of the month, we're not like, And usually they have a lot more build up. Here, nope, it ran at the beginning of the month. If it feels going to be that early, why did they take it out that, like, a month ago? That will kind of bother me. And we have a promo for that, which. Yeah, I'm a little skeptical going with my having King Kick, but I'm still kind of tricky what new stuff we have. And the last will return then from Olive Pony, and the Pet Shop returns them to Epico as well. So, there's that. Um, it'll be fun. Um, and kind of you'll go back to being on Monday, then, you know. And then one. That's the all came back one more time. What the future of the what might be. Anyway, after picking out that one, um, in the original version, like I did pick out one, but I want to do pick out another one in for the first time ever. In truth, between which one I would rather do, you know. But I won't review that other one if I equally think the other one is better off because I do have to keep from keep me. And not have people always oh, showed on that one. Go, mm -hmm. so let's take a look at the number. I'm going to the number. If you want. Look it up. Look what I'm going to do with it because I got to take it or take it. Well, of time I don't have to. And if I come cake, it gets minor. So, well, I'll major add to the whole thing again. Yeah, I'm going to my original choice, which was a day at the museum. Uh, that hopefully that won't be shorter than this one. So I'll see you next time for that one. And not that the other one I played with like bad choice or anything, it's probably be better, but this one gives me more to go. So, uh, and when I get to the other one is when I will say what it is, but that doesn't depend on if that ever happened. Well, we'll see you next time. We spend a day at the museum.